Uh. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sophie. In case you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. So I'm back in Nairobi. I've been in Eldoret for quite some time and while I was there, I took the chance to do some thrifting and that forms the basis for my video today. This is a thrift haul video. Everything that I have here is thrifted and cost me um, between 100 and 300 shillings. The dresses are mostly 300 shillings and um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. So without further ado, let's just get straight into the video so Eldoret usually has a lot of great items it's just that i'm usually not there very often but i see my sisters dress up so well and all that stuff is usually thrifted and i decided that i am also going to join in the bandwagon so the first item that i have for this particular haul is this dress it cost me 300 shillings it's a spaghetti strap dress and i am obsessed with such dresses especially at the moment i really love this style of wearing spaghetti strap dresses or tops with a white or a black t-shirt underneath and that's exactly how i plan on rocking this dress it's actually a maxi very long as you can see and it has this very beautiful um print it has leaves printed on it it's a burgundy colored dress and has white leaves the only disadvantage of this dress is the fact that it sheds a lot of color because i already washed it and that's why it's a bit creased by the way i haven't ironed any of the stuff i have for this haul video because it's a haul video it's not um, a lookbook so i couldn't really be bothered to iron them for just a haul but of course when i do a lookbook i'll have every single thing here ironed but it's such a beautiful dress despite the fact that it shades color it just means i can't wash it with detergent this is what the bottom looks like like it goes all the way to all the way to my ankles which is something that i really really love i even tried it over a white t-shirt and it was so nice so it's not exactly a fitted dress but i like it like that because i plan on belting it when i wear it with my white t-shirt and i will be styling it with you know white sneakers as well and this can be worn in very many different ways you can also wear it as it is without layering a t-shirt underneath but i rarely wear spaghetti straps so it has adjustable straps which is something good um as you can see and um that and the color just made this such a nice purchase so this was the first one 300 bob like i said and this was the second purchase from eldoret it is um it's this dress also another spaghetti strap dress but this one is a bit more like it looks more lively it's so nice and pretty it's orange it has a touch of gold this is what it looks like at the bottom it's asymmetrical in you know in as far as the hemline is concerned and then it's just very nice it's not sheer at all the fabric is so nice and heavy and then um the front part is i don't know how to call this neckline it's not a halter neck but yeah this is what it looks like here and then the back of it looks like this um it has this strap that goes across uh this um string that go across i guess you're supposed to tie this and uh yeah i really loved this dress because of the design and oh, once again because of the spaghetti strap detail and i also intend on wearing something black underneath maybe a black light sweater but then if it gets too hot of course i can only just wear it minus layering anything or um, anything under it but then again another way to wear such a dress is to just wear it with a denim jacket over it you can really do a lot with such a dress and that was my second purchase also 300 so the third purchase is this other spaghetti strap dress i told you i have an obsession at the moment but this is the dress itself it's a floral dress the problem is that it looks like the strings on this are unraveling as you can see but that's not too much of a problem because i'm just going to cut them and uh, the bottom looks like this also slightly asymmetrical and freely i love ruffled stuff i love the fact that the ruffles start from here making the dress even better and then it's very simple compared to the other one the black is like this and the front looks like this so i also can't wait to wear this and this was just 200 shillings actually it is just a nice simple basic black dress with some floral embroidery and if you know me you know that i am obsessed with anything embroidered so that was the third now the next items that i have here let me just start by saying 
I really, 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 really love sleepwear, the sleepwear trend. And I've been, I have pajama suits with me. I have pajama looking kimonos. And while I was working in Eldoret, I came across um, a person who was selling some sleepwear, except he had some very good quality stuff. And they were, they were mostly Victoria's Secret stuff. But then there are things that I don't necessarily have to wear when I'm sleeping. I mean, there's a reason why there was the sleepwear trend. So the first item that I got from the guy is this wrap skirt. You guys, this skirt is so beautiful and it's such a nice silky fabric. So I, when I saw this, I was like, eh, I've been looking for skirts for so long. And this is a beautiful skirt. It's a little on the midi side, which is something I absolutely love. If you know me, you know that I love longer skirts. I find them so classy. I find them so beautiful. And I can't wait to wear this. So when you wrap it around, um, let me just give you an idea of what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And it says Victoria's Secret. It's in a medium size, so it's a little big uh, for me. But I will adjust it. And I don't even have to take it to a tailor for that. All I need to do is make very good use of this, uh, this part of it. And just uh, move this button a bit. And I'll be good to go. So the color is beautiful. I love the floral detail. I'm a big fan of floral clothes. But that was the first one. The second um, item that I have is this something that i believe was supposed to be a gown but of course why would i wear it as such i wear this as a kimono because i already have a good idea of how i want it to look and it's so beautiful it's long like it's a maxi 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 kimono style gown let me just call it that and it's a nice satin um so it has a nice satin feel not like a pajama feel it's just satin not pajama style it's not too light and that's what i love about it and this is the print it's just red black and white also floral which would explain why i fell in love with it and this is how um this part of it looks like, like the part that is supposed to tie up, but I'm not going to be doing that. Remember, I'm going to wear this as a very nice long kimono, and I really can't wait. I really, really love this. Like, there was a lady who was holding it, and she held it for so long, and I knew it wouldn't fit her. So I waited for as long as she was there holding it until she put it down. And the moment she just put it down, I took it for myself. I didn't even think twice. I just bought it. So, yeah, it's something that I really, really, really love. And, uh... Yeah, I cannot wait to style this with some high-waisted pants and a white top or a black top. It will really, really, really look good. So this is it. You know, it's a little difficult to hold this because it's so long. <laughs> but I really hope you have an idea of what it looks like. I can also wear this over a black dress, you know, come to think of it. And I cannot wait to do just that. And then next up, I have this kimono. I also got it from the same place during two trips to that place. It's in a size large because I really couldn't get anything in a small size there. A lot of the things they had were medium or were either medium or large. But this is what the back looks like. And the fact that it's January and it's almost the sunny season, I'm looking like the sun is almost fully coming back up. I can't wait to start styling these things. This is so nice and light. The fabric is also very strong for a certain type of cloth, which is just a plus for me. And it's in this nice purple color. Again, it has a floral detail. I love flowers on clothes. Like I've said that over and over and over again. The inside is plain, but then again, who cares about the inside? The outside is where the party is at. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if I should get this reduced a bit because it's a little on the bigger side from what I can see. Um, I did try it and it looked a bit big, but I want to just try it with a couple of other things right after this video and see what to do with it. But basically, this is it. And I really, really love it. So the color, the print, this is an idea of what it looks like. And I'm sure I will be wearing this very, very, very often. And then there's a black slip dress. You guys, I've been looking for a black slip dress for so long and I finally found one. It's not as satin-ish or as silky as I wanted it to be or as shiny, that is, as I wanted it to be. But this is basically it. And you know what? I'm going to wear it outside. Those people who are going to tell me, hey, I'm a night dress and whatnot, all I can say is, she dying you because fashion is what it is. It is 
fashion and nowadays people are wearing slip dresses and they look so good and i can imagine wearing this with you know a white t-shirt it's a little oversized but that's why i like it actually and the best part about buying slip dresses like this is they can serve two purposes you can wear them underneath those clothes of yours that are a bit um too sheer you can wear them as they are and uh if people just bother you a little too much you can just use them for the purpose for which they were intended you can sleep in them i don't mind looking nice when i'm sleeping so yeah with this it's just a win-win situation so it's just a very nice black and it's still so new my gosh i love it so much but if you're going to be wearing this outside you need to layer something underneath it's very sheer as you can see and i have exactly what is needed you know for layering and then next up i have the perfect 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 sleep dress you guys i wanted to buy a slip dress in this color from Shein for the longest time. It's still on my Shein wish list actually. And it's because I saw Ami Song and a bunch of other people wearing slip dresses in this color and I absolutely loved it. And I have a blazer, like a checkered blazer and of course black sweater tops that I can wear underneath such. And th this makes this um, such a win for me. Now what I loved about this dress is the beautiful golden color and the fact that it has a slit at the front i don't know if you can see the slit but yeah here it is and it looks exactly like a dress ami song was wearing somewhere i don't remember where she was wearing it at but i intend on recreating that style that look because i absolutely love it and now that i have this i don't see why not so i will go ahead and style this this is the front part and i love the fact that it also has um adjustable you know uh, ad adjustable straps that's very important to me and uh, it's very nice when I bought it it had a lot of stains and I really hated the stains on it because I thought they wouldn't come off but I washed it so vigorously and they all disappeared it's also a Victoria's Secret dress and it's in a size medium so it's slightly big but I can work with it and that's why it's it, it's literally one of my favorite dresses from this collection of stuff but yeah i can't wait to style this i don't know where i'll wear this too it's a little on the fancier side but we'll see there's always an opportunity to wear something nice and then lastly i have another slip dress beautiful beautiful color i don't know if this can actually be adjusted i don't know if the fabric is too light because it's oversized as you can see but this is the kind of slip dress i was looking for it's shiny enough and the color is beautiful and the front part looks like this the only problem i have with this is that the the straps are not adjustable but i can always do something about that so this is what it looks like at the top it has some some slits it looks very 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 nice and i will be wearing this very very soon so yeah those are the items that i had for you for this particular haul i hope you've seen this well because i think i rushed through it because somebody just knocked the door but let me just strap up so i can go see who it is those are the items that i got in eldoret during my recent stay there i'm so happy i stayed there for as long as i did thank you so much for watching this um thrift haul i hope you loved the items and i hope you look forward to seeing them in lookbooks that i intend on creating thank you so much for stopping by if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye